Doshin the Giant. Um, well, where do I start? This game has kinda gotten the cult classic label put onto it, and that's fair, but this game is easily one of the biggest oddities in Nintendo history, and I absolutely love it for that. This game actually has a pretty interesting past, so let's get into that. Doshin the Giant initially released in Japan for the 64DD, something no one has heard of until I willed a memory into your mind. And since the 64DD is a Japan exclusive, Doshin was a Japan exclusive. If there's a better reason for getting a passport, I haven't heard it. That was until the GameCube release, where it released in Europe and Japan. Damn it! I mean, it makes sense though, Americans don't deserve anything, the country doesn't even have legs. Doshin also got an expansion pack on the 64D like F-Zero X. That must be why Nintendo's forgotten them. The box art of the expansion doesn't look like Doshin though. This looks glorious. This just looks like Just Dance or something. Doshin the Giant was actually kind of a hit game in Japan, becoming the ninth best selling game in the country in 2002, which is kinda amazing. This game outsold F-Zero GX in Japan, but that's still insane. But let's see what the hype is about. This is Doshin the Giant. Did I... Did I drug my own brownies? They're really hyping up this big guy. I hope he's worth it. He appeared. It's the big man. He, he, he's, he's glorious. So I can terraform the land, that's pretty cool, and pick up these trees, which goddamn you can pick up trees in this game? I try to drown the big man, but he has gills, so hopefully the pressure gets to him eventually. I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. This guy said I need to plant this tree or something, but I was way too awestruck to listen. I decided to chase this fish instead, but Doshin is too goddamn slow. Well. That was something. Can't wait for him to be in Smash. 